Hey, so here is the video from last week where I was really trying to work on the, the bitiness. So the first thing we did was play disengagement. I did crazy, wild, how crazy can I get him? And, and teasing him, honestly. Um, he's really good with his play disengagement, but I focused on for a lack of a better term, trying to get him to be snappy, um, where he is mouthy. So this is where I'm actively pushing him. I'm actively like kind of getting physical with him um, to try to get him to chomp at me. Um, there are a couple times where he does go for a mouth um, and that's where I can at uh, uh, or bullet leave it. And he pretty quickly stops and is like, oh, I'm so sorry. Um, his impulse and his pause button has gotten a lot stronger over over the past couple weeks and the past couple months honestly since when I first started working with him um, but you can see right there that's where we worked on uh -uh. Um, you can see the moments of him like do I have to sit and look at you okay fine I guess <laughs> but the moment he does he gets these big rewards now I also worked on okay we're gonna be calm now can I tack something else on can I do a touch can I do a touch your neck can I give you some pets um, and you can see he's like okay let's go and I'm like no no you have to stay calm so I'm asking him for more calmness after those moments of disengagement and then we can go back to big play this is a good way to kind of counteract like just work on it's almost like working on the sandwich where it's not two little pieces of bread and then all the good stuff in between like we're actually getting really nice fluffy bread on both sides that's a weird analogy but hopefully you understand what i mean by that So really quickly, you're going to see me being crazy and spin and he accidentally gets my fingers right there. And that's where I was like, ah, and he immediately stopped. So even in my tone where it was complete accident, he just dropped it and let it go. And that right there where he understands body cues and verbal cues really, really well. Um, he touched, he did great. 
um, but did did well, and my finger was fine. Now here is us doing some swimming. Um, we had some back to back swimming that day, so <laughs> you can see where he's like, "I'm gonna die. This is awful." Um, we got him in the pool. We worked on his um, working from getting from two feet to three feet. Um, he can stand at two feet really well. Um, he just kind of freaks out over it so we were just working on standing and walking and then I push him in a little bit to let's do some paddles um and you can see the, his start he is doing that high step in and eventually we get him to a nice slow like balanced uh swimming um now he does get out a couple times and you can see where he gets to the edge and is interested that's a change from him where he's actually like oh hey what's up um, I also worked on him going in and out from the shallow to the deep end, um, trying to get him more comfortable with this and also more comfortable on doing a step versus non-step stuff. Um, but he did really good. Like right there, that's a phenomenal swim. That was a much faster swim than last time it took us almost 20 minutes to get here. This was within five minutes. Um, so he had a blast. Well, I had a blast teaching him. <laughs> I don't know if he's quite having a blast at the pool yet. But we did have some zoomies around the pool. You'll see him getting in out a couple times. Um, but overall, he did really well. Let me know if you have any questions.